held many, worn many other hats, including TechCrunch contributor, and uh, he's with uh, Internet Video Startup Quick. Uh, I'm, I think there are some others. I'm, I'm not remembering all of them. Uh, needless to say, very accomplished at a young age. To, uh, to your right, uh, from Daniel, is Dr. Kevin Kahn. He's a senior fellow at Intel Labs, and he's the director of Intel's Communications Technology Lab. Um, and um, moving on down the line, we've got Gary Corker, Vice President of Engine Systems and Mobile Devices at Motorola. And uh, glad to have you here, Gary. Uh, then Warren Packard, he's a Managing Director at uh, Draper Fisher Jurvetson, VC firm some of you may have heard of. And uh, then at the end of the row is Cookie, who's Corporate VP and Managing Director from Best Buy Capital. So let's just uh, jump right in. I, I want to start, let's just go down the line and uh, if each of you could spend just a couple minutes telling, answering a couple questions. What, first of all, what's the coolest, sort of most promising, interesting new technology that you've seen this week at CES? And second part is, what, what do you think is the most overhyped trend that you've been hearing about uh, that, uh, that's getting too much buzz that, that doesn't deserve it? I think my answer actually answers both questions. I think that's 3D TVs. Uh, you know, they were completely overhyped, and then you go and look at them, and you know they're pretty cool, but actually not that cool. Like you would expect, I was expecting it to be, I think, uh, a little more interesting in what they can offer. And I don't know, the glasses still really piss me off. They, you know, it's, <laughs> I mean, it, thank you. Yeah, at least I'm not the only one. I mean, the glasses are just so annoying. They hurt my ears. Like, Avatar. I mean, come on, you guys are spending so much money for that movie. At least get us some better glasses. So, uh, yeah, 3D really kind of was completely overhyped and then, uh, but, um, but still sort of cool. Like yeah, I mean, it's like 3D. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's been hyped over the last two years, two, three years, but, you know, you know, Samsung, their booth is huge, and you know, you see all like these TV manufacturers who are, you know, getting into that market, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. You know, they actually go into consumer hands and how they're going to use this 3D technology. I think it's still really. It seems, you know, even talking to the TV manufacturers that I've spoken with at the show, it seems like very early days. Even they acknowledge, you know, yeah. there's not a lot of content there. The 3D TV channels aren't going to come until next year. And then it also goes, how much is the TV actually going to cost? I mean, people are going to be dishing out five, or I mean, I think they're going to be dishing out five, six thousand dollars for these kind of technologies where you can get, you know, a 50 inch, you know, TV with all these, you know, amazing input devices and stuff like that for, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred. So it's just, you know, the price is going to be one of the big differentiators. All right, I'm sure we'll come back to that topic. Uh, Kevin, what? Uh... Well, that solves one of my problems because he took what was at the top of my list. <laughs> um, I, I guess actually the thing that's, that, that's caught my eye the most is the number of, of car-related things out of the floor. You know, if you were here a few years ago, about the only place a car really showed up was with somebody who was showing a high-end audio system as an aftermarket for cars. I mean, that was about it. 